Habarigani, the word of the day, coming from the Swahili language. Hola, hi, coming from the Spanish language. We're here at historic Mitchellville Freedom Park at Rio's Corner. Four books will be read this series by mayors and an attorney from the Low Country and the Midlands. We missed you, and we're happy to let you know that we're back in the park. April 6th through the 27th at 10 a.m. every Wednesday, and we have a new book to share with you online. Tell your friends, family, and don't forget the grandchildren to tune in to exploremitchellville.org. Again, exploremitchellville.org. I'm Cora Miller. I'm Lisa Sulka, the mayor of the town of Bluffton, and I am at the historic Mitchellville Freedom Park, sitting at Griot's Corner. Today I'm going to read Your Future is Bright by Corey Finkel. Today is a triumph. It's awesome. You're great. The things you've accomplished are truly first rate. Your efforts have made you stand out from the crowd. So puff out your chest. You deserve to feel proud. Amazing adventures are coming to you and people are eager to see what you'll do. Your future is waiting. Which path will you choose? There's no way to know, but there are a few clues. As soon as you get out of bed every day, you're bursting with energy, ready to play. You run at full speed as you zip place to place, a grin of delight plastered over your face. So maybe tomorrow we'll get to behold your fearless attempt as you race for the gold. Or maybe you'll earn adoration and fame in basketball, soccer, or some other game. But while there's a chance you'll be known for your feet, the list of your options is far from complete. Your eyes and your ears are incredibly strong. No secret can ever stay hidden for long. So maybe you'll be a detective or spy, discovering secrets as people walk by. And then there's your very refined sense of taste. It'd be such a shame if that skill went to waste. You could be a baker devising new sweets to serve in a diner where everyone eats. You have an artistic, passionate soul, and that could be how you discover your role. You might write a novel that's loved and adored, or star in a movie that wins an award. You might paint a masterpiece stunning and grand or play lead guitar in a rock and roll band. You're saddened whenever a classmate gets hurt. If someone were freezing, you'd give them your shirt. Perhaps you'll find happiness taking the lead, committing yourself to help people in need. If you see injustice, you don't kid around. You fight for what's right until answers are found. Tomorrow, you might offer voters a choice to opt for a leader who gives them a voice. This may be what happens, but then maybe not. Your interests might alter. It happens a lot. Professor, biologist, architect, nurse, accountant, mechanic, librarian, vet, astronomer probing the whole universe are something that nobody's thought to do yet. Whatever you choose, it will always seem smart as long as you follow your generous heart. When someone needs kindness, you answer the call, and this tells us maybe the best news of all. No matter what path you select in the end, you'll always be known as a wonderful friend. Don't ever stop dreaming and set your sights high. Tomorrow will come in the blink of an eye. So follow your instincts to do what feels right, 
and you can be sure your future is bright. Again, I'm at Griot's Corner and I enjoyed reading this book.